identity with one another. Of the Holy Spirit. We give people praise to honor the glory for the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives to bring us into a place of union with the Father, union with the Son, union with the Holy Spirit, and union with one another. We thank you for it in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Amen. Church, 
For you made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, you are joined to him. 1 Corinthians 6.17 says, you are one spirit with him. In Ephesians it says that you have become one flesh with the Lord. You are his. Amen. He is yours. You are one together with him. I want to speak to the witnesses who are here today. Jesus said in the 18th chapter of Matthew the Gospel, Again I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done to them of my Father which is in heaven. You are not here just because of tradition. You are here for a serious purpose, to bear witness forever of this miraculous union that would take place and to add your agreement before God to that which takes place here. Don't ever, ever tamper with the agreement. From this day forward, regardless of what comes, you are in agreement with this union. Don't ever attempt in any way to cause it to be anything other than a happy union. Amen. To the congregation, in the eyes of Almighty God, these two people are washed in the blood of Jesus. They have prayed and before God himself, they believe in all their heart that it is the perfect will of God for them to be joined together in the spirit. They have made their decision. So from now on, until the end of this age, I charge you to do everything in your power to see that this union remains solid and strong and happy and prosperous. Warren, do you take the evidence as your wife and your own flesh to love her even as Christ loved the church, to protect her and to serve her?
you have made you dumb that unto God. The words of God says, Above all, take the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery dots of the wicked one. If anyone could break up this union, it would be Satan. So give him no place. Give him no place. Amen. This is forever. Amen. Amen.
have received the communion table in the past. You know what it means, but I want to remind you that we live under a new covenant with God. This covenant was ratified by the shed blood of Jesus at Calvary. Now we see something new that has never existed before. When each of you were born again, you Observe and to do all of 